Okay. All right. What is going on, guys? Boy, Ooh, and of course, we are back again. Once again, hope you are doing great today. So, I got these two boxes to my left. We're going to unbox them. And we're going to go right into it once we get uh, from there. So, this is going to be the first time I'm ever... Well, first time in a long time, I should say, that I'm actually going to be doing the unboxing live. So, bear with me because I'm kind of limited on the space here. And uh, I'm going to do my best to make sure that I get you guys the uh unboxing portion of pretty much you know everything i'm sure that you guys are going to want to see the console first so we're going to go through that and then we will unbox the controller because i had to make sure that since this was a halo 20th anniversary limited edition i had to get it and lucky enough for me i didn't have to go through any scalpers i didn't have to go through any third party sellers I just had to pray, let it be known that Master Chief literally gave me the power through the Microsoft Store to actually get this thing. Now, even though I had to actually go out of my way to make sure that I actually pick this up today, we now have it. So that's the, that's a story for later, but let's get on with the unbox. Okay, this is the box, kind of dirty. Probably gonna stand up for this just to make it a little easier for me. I will have the mic up here though, so you guys can at least hear me. Shout outs to this uh, boom arm. Oh, here we go. <gasps> Ready? Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, man, look at this. Hold on. I'll, I'll show you all right now. Cue the Halo music. This is fire. Obviously, the next part is to take it off out of this sleeve that it is got some tape around it real quick. Damn, there is so much detail to this. Actually OD. Box is actually really freaking nice. Look at this. There's a message on the side too. All this chief art. Look at this. Ah. Uh. 20 years, bro. I am old. So let me read this message. And I quote, We crafted this limited edition console to celebrate you, our fans. This monolith of power and performance serves as an expression of our gratitude to all who've inspired and joined us in exploring this spectacular universe. Halo Infinite is our grandest adventure yet, and we invite you to discover its mysteries with us. And they also included it in other languages, which is kind of nice. Yo, I'm not even gonna lie, doing like an unboxing video without showing my face is kind of making me feel like that one dude from the Proud family. I know that's nothing to do with Halo, but you know, kind of how I feel right now. I have to use my hands to make sure you guys are understanding what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, let's get back to this. So there's a little, there's a little tape, John, right on this side. So there's tape on a couple sides here. Cause I, I guess this is supposed to just kind of flap open. Ooh, okay. All right, ready? Oh, oh! Yo, look at this John right here. Damn. This is such a nice detailed box. You cannot throw this out. You cannot throw this out. Look at this. It comes in like a layered pack in like steps. All right, so I'm sure the box is right in here. So I'm sure they got contents right in here. Boom, look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. We got exclusive stock. HDMI cable. <laughs> have our stock Xbox power cable. <laughs> Can't forget about the directions. <laughs> Actually, I'll just put the directions back. Bada bing, bada boom. The realest controller is in the room. How you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This John. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yes, look at this. This is my first time ever touching an Xbox Series X controller. Now, I'm not even gonna lie, compared to what I'm used to on the Xbox One, this is pretty much like the same thing. <laughs> it seems a little smaller, I'm not even gonna lie too. I actually like how the triggers feel a lot better too. Not gonna lie, this is my first time ever holding an Xbox Series X controller. 
this is my first xbox series x controller ever and i i literally waited just in case they were ever gonna have something like this because i'm all i'm all for my man master chief of course it came with some batteries thank you microsoft all right now i feel like this is the moment of truth right here it's actually a lot smaller than i expected comes in this 20th anniversary box it's all wrapped up like it's a damn gift which it definitely is i could tell you that right now if i can dude you have to keep all of this this is all part of the experience really quick underneath the box is actually a digital direct so i think this is literally just a a, a quick little direction guide on how to set up your xbox and your controller for those that couldn't you know figure it out on your own so i guess thank you but you know here we go now i'm taking this tape off right now holy yo Ooh. damn this is this is this john's actually kind of sleek i'm not gonna lie oh Ooh. bruh here it is and this is a lot smaller than i thought which is not a bad thing Ooh. oh yeah let me turn that right side up for you uh 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 let me get my face in there hold on ready uh. <laughs> i can't believe this really just stands up like that now there is the console right there obviously i'm not even gonna lie from where i'm having it and where my camera is usually angled y'all are really not gonna see it anyway when i'm doing like videos and streams or whatever but this is going right next to the ps5 there's one bit of detail that i'm gonna add because if you guys didn't notice i have the white ranger on the ps5 for the sony zord i'm gonna this is about to be the new xbox zord and you're gonna see exactly what i'm referring to <laughs> i'm gonna take that out the box and put it on there so give me a second to now connect all this stuff up and we're gonna start playing immediately i'm even gonna keep this wrapping paper bro i play no games besides video games i'm glad that they actually switched to a cable like this this is like super super nice i'm so used to having them having like these those big ass bricks now other than this let me now unbox the controller. I almost forgot about the Halo controller. The Elite Series 2. Mm, Halo Infinite Edition. Oh, it comes in a protective casing. Oh, oh man, this is looking nice. Oh, this is the bottom of the job, in case you was wondering. I don't think there's anything underneath it, but I'm gonna check anyway. Oh, there is, actually is. There's like wiring and, and whatnot. Oh, damn, the wire is braided. Damn, that's what's up. What is this? This looks like they, they gave you directions for the controller? Oh, looks like they hooked me up with, uh... They gave me a Halo Infinite game add-on with the controller. I'm not exactly sure what the add-on is but we'll figure that out when we get to it they gave me the elite series 2 directions i guess in case there's like any special features like swapping out some of the like the sticks of the d-pad or the buttons or anything like that yo you can charge this thing in here bro that's od like there's a hole to plug in the damn charger while it's in the carry case that's that's actually od all right well let's not let's not get lost in here but yeah, check this out. They freaking give you a braided cable, bro. Like, this is an expensive controller. This John is like, I want to say around 200. Ow! So they gave him, they're giving you quality with the quality, all right? This is a regular USB, probably 3.0 to a USB-C cable. So I'm guessing this, this side will go into the box or wherever you're charging it at. And then this will go right into the controller. And what do you know? That is correct. Boom. This is the controller that the console comes with to match the system. And now now let's finally open the controller Ooh, damn. oh my goodness Whee. damn the extra buttons and stuff like oh 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 this is quality oh my goodness this is quality that d-pad that d-pad the thumbsticks is silent ay 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 the sticks oh 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 the feedback and i'm not even playing look it look, look like i got some battle damage already look at that oh oh yes and it got the uh look at that 
the the material oh yeah that you you, ooh, you can feel it what the hell is this oh this is the charging unit and it's magnetic okay check this shit out that's od all right bet watch 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 ready see this john right here this comes out this is actually the this is the device that charges it okay so I'll, this is this that's crazy like that's actually crazy <laughs> son that's actually od so there's a magnetic feature look boom that shit is right on there there's pins underneath this okay yeah that's how it works okay so it, they make it look like it charges wirelessly but it really not check it out when you reveal the pins the pins will literally go connect right uh behind the controller boom right there that's how you get this guy to charge while being in the freaking carry case that's actually crazy and then it comes with a little compartment on the top so you could put the damn cable in i never understand why they even put these little bags in there oh yeah it fits right nicely in there too look at that uh that's that's fire i'm not gonna use the elite yet the elite series 2 yet but i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna, I'm gonna put it right here pose up for my little display so i could take a nice freaking picture they really are just like i feel like they're straight up just xbox one controllers like it's literally all the same but i'm at least gonna let you guys see me turn it on for the first time all right here we go That's the, that has a sound effect on the console like that? That shit went. Uh. <laughs> That's kind of OD. Oh, wow. You can update the controller? What the fuck? Oh, yeah. So um, this is also kind of important, too. This goes along with the story that I was meaning to tell earlier when I first started unboxing this thing. I was kind of happy that last year when the craze over the consoles and just trying to obtain one whether it was this or the ps5 i was actually in a way happy that 343 decided to delay halo because that would have been a really uh, interesting time if i was to actually try to get both at the same time because i know a lot of people did that i figured you know what i don't need it right now because Halo's not ready and let's be honest i'm the kind of guy that if i love a certain game enough and there's a special limited edition console for it there's a decent chance that i'm gonna try to grab that and history will will prove that that is actually factual information because i refused to play marvel's spider-man on ps4 until i had that limited ps4 pro spider-man edition console and i played the game in full on that console and so turn the clock a little bit forward we now finally have Halo. Even to celebrate the 20th anniversary of it, and Xbox, I guess, they decided to let that multiplayer beta early because the game actually doesn't come out until December 8th. That is why I waited and I absolutely had to get this because Halo is my favorite. And I believe, truly, I believe this is the best shooter free oh yeah so another story right so hopefully i actually get reimbursed for this because microsoft had a bit of a oopsie these motherfuckers literally don't have the ability to change your fucking address when you order something even if you pre-order something even if it's months away from releasing they will not allow you to change it because they don't have the feature to do so and even if you call in even if you request a supervisor guess what damn they can't do anything about it. So I had to go through uh, a lot of back and forth, leaps and bounds kind of shit because they were going to deliver it to my old address. And I'm like, I don't live there anymore. So uh... yeah, in order to prevent that kind of uh, debacle from happening, they had to basically arrange it so that Microsoft had to co communicate with UPS and tell them, hey, when it gets to this UPS location, destination, hold it. Because he's going to pick it up there. Because we can't tell, we can't like reroute it. Like, how easy would it have been for them to be like, hey, this is where he lives now. Which is not as, not that far from where, you know, we were going to send it or ship it. How hard would it have been to literally take the information, like my new address, print a fucking new label out. What, are they going to charge them a dollar six? Because that's how much they'll charge you if you go with a, a, a prepaid label and say like, oh yeah, like I need to print this. Oh, it's a dollar. Fuck you. Okay, sure. Yeah, like what, my, what they can't afford a dollar six Microsoft. Instead of even trying to reroute it to there or even to rerouting it to a closer UPS location, they straight up had me picking it up in the same city that I used to live in. So I had to take an Uber, which cost me like in total, 
round trip was 40 bucks just to fucking pick this thing up which was free shipping ah! and there's nowhere on the site that tells you hey like when you pre-order or order something you cannot change your address they don't even there's nothing that says that on the site at all so i emailed them today and i'm like so am i gonna get reimbursed for having to being inconvenienced and you guys send me to get it because i had to pay an uber to freaking pick this shit up this is this is my only option sucked oh wow look at that so check this out. It literally says, Hey, UG Games, we found the settings from your last Xbox, including system preferences and accessibility. Would you like to apply them? Sure. What? Link controller? What the? F Yo. See, that's fire. So the console, of course, comes with fucking Halo. I mean, come on now. I ain't got to worry about no goddamn Game Pass, none of that bullshit, even though I do have it. But yeah, I'm claiming this shit. Campaign, bro. And then I'm most likely going to have to download the multiplayer beta or whatever. Solid. All right. So success. Do I have my... Yes. Oh, wait. No, never mind. Oh, it's not a failure. Ding, ding, ding. Here we go. Find your best settings for your TV. Uh, sure. Oh. <laughs> Got it. That's the best one right there. Keep display at 4K. Yes. What did it change it to? It's not like it told me. It's crazy how the, the, the HUD looks exactly the same as the Xbox One. <laughs> Season one. Oh, it's already installing. Okay, so I already knew. Bet. All right, so now we just have, now we just wait. And then we'll be able to play a couple games at least. So yes, fellas, we are here. We are now Master Chief Monday. And they are about to be super lit. Because not only do we have Halo Infinite early, due to the fact that it's the 20th anniversary of Xbox, of Halo. We got the freaking, the brand new box. The box. Zord, the Halo Zord, the Chief Zord. I'm gonna call it the Chief Zord. Chief Zord sounds OD. Uh, music down for a second because so, we might be uh, graced with the, the Halo soundtrack real quick. Here we go. Mm, beautiful. This is the definitive first person shooter. I'll say it again. This is. This is the definitive shooter. <laughs> yeah, I like the vibe that this thing has now, man. Like the, like the music and stuff. It, it's very esports. I like how they still keep like the original classic sounds like when you boot up the game but then when when it's go time like it's completely different all right i got one by their flag already all right got him there's two now uh-oh triple triple no oh i got a triple let's go returning and returned All right, we got a little spree, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it. Wait, so you bought a brand new Xbox? Oh yeah, I have the I have the Halo 20th Anniversary yeah. Edition one. But what, what does oh, Uchi look like not getting the best game of the whole entire year? I have to constantly play it on. Facts. I'll play you think he wants yeah. to play it on PC? I, I, again, play. Right now I'm having I'm not playing on the best console. <laughs> the box. <laughs> the, the intended way. There we go, Uchi. <laughs> I came out like Ray motherfucking Stereo. No, I was trying to hold the flag with you. Jeez. I didn't think the dude was just gonna run up and melee me though. That's my fault for aiming down sight though. Yes, and okay. game. Let's go. <laughs> Damn, I did. How did I do that game? Let's see. Damn, I went positive 13, two steals, three returns, one cap, one assist, one triple kill, one double kill, one killing spree. I got Perfect. five, five, and then like three assists. Oh, you got that classic dominoes deal. All right, let's go. <laughs> five for five? 
Oh, five, five, five deal. That was a godlike deal. I used to think after they like discontinued that shit that they still had it. And every time I would try to order, I'd be like, yo, where's the five, five, five deal at? Like, and they're like, oh, we don't do that no more. So I'm like, what do you fucking mean? You don't do that shit. I want the five, five, five deal. <laughs>